Since its beginning in 1992, the Wetland Reserve Program has played a vital role in assisting private landowners in effectively restoring marginal agricultural lands and degraded wetlands to bottomland hardwood forests and wetlands. The Wetland Reserve Program, that now continues under the newer Wetland Reserve Easements component of the Agricultural Conservation Easement Program, has successfully enrolled more than 2,400 properties in Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. I'm Kevin Norton, the Acting uh, Chief of the Natural Resources Conservation Service, and we're here today to talk to you, the landowners, the operators, the stewards of these Wetland Reserve Program and Wetland Reserve Easements. You're a key partner in this whole effort. Without you, the private landowner, enrolling these lands into the program, we would not have the success that we have here with the program. These wetlands uh, service over half of the waterfowl and songbirds of the United States, North America, are dependent upon wetlands and wetland habitat. So we have a wide range of partners helping us support this program from other government agencies, our, our, your state wildlife management agencies are all a part of helping us uh, deliver this program, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, uh, but then we have the non-governmental organizations. We have the Nature Conservancy, Ducks Unlimited, Wildlife Mississippi, just a range of folks that come together to help us support you and make sure that we're applying the best science and technology to this wetland restoration effort and, and growing these projects over the perpetual easements that we have, the long term, making these the most that they can be for you, the landowner, uh, for the natural resources and the wildlife habitat functions and values that are so critical. Uh, to this region, the Lower Mississippi Valley, over 780,000 acres enrolled in this program in, in this tri-state area, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. You're our partner, you're important to us, and what we wanna see is you having the opportunity to maximize the benefits of these lands as they provide you the values that you, you want and need. This series of videos, uh, I hope you find them educational and informative. I, I know they're going to work for you, uh, but they're probably going to have things that are unique to your individual easement, your individual uh, project that you would have some follow-up questions on, some, uh, need some assistance. First point of contact always, your local Natural Resources Conservation Service office, the field staff there. But I will tell you that they will not only assist you, but they will engage the partners to help fulfill your vision for this easement because at the core is a partnership between all of us and you, the landowner, the holder of the easement. Many WRP and WRE landowners have a strong interest in managing and enjoying their property for recreational opportunities, such as hunting and wildlife viewing. Whether you owned your property when the easement was originally established, or if you purchased a property with an existing easement, this video series will provide important information on how to successfully manage your easement. The first part of the series will address wetland management including landowners' role and management opportunities, wetland types and habitat succession, managing moist soil impoundments, and managing semi-permanent and other wetlands. The second part of the series will address forest management, including managing timber on your wetland reserve easement, and forest management planning and treatment implementation. For more information on assistance with wetland reserve easements or to obtain compatible use authorizations, contact your local USDA Service Center. Wetland Reserve Management videos were developed by NRCS and the Tri-State Conservation Partnership.